Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, I will show you how to plot arrays or like coordinates of x and y on your axis in your Android app without using any libraries. So I will not be using any libraries. So let's begin. I will use probably the image view or surface view to plot it. So let's see. So plot x and y axis. You can name it anything this app uh, and then click finish. Let for the Android Studio environment to load. Once the environment loads, we will go to the layout, the design view. Uh, text view probably we don't need but probably what we can do is we can keep it to display our coordinates what we will be selecting in our uh, code and here probably I'll name this button which will be triggered like uh, uh, display or the plot or display the plot again this name doesn't matter uh, of course this may the trigger may be from a different event or different scenario but it's just for uh, in this tutorial i want to show a trigger point apart from that probably will i'll include a surface view i'll probably show both uh, how to draw it on a surface view and also an image view because more or less the process remains same so i will just use different widgets to display it and i'll just select some of the background and that's all i guess and i'll just use some constraints here perfect similarly for the next widget that's all and now i'll go back to my java code so that i can assign all this widget a uh, local variable i think for text views i have some id so i'll go here and uh, no, no not in this code i think in the main java code and the first and foremost thing what I'll do is I'll create few private uh, variables say for example uh, I think for text view text view perfect and then there was something called image view and then there is something called surface view private surface view surface view and in this I will associate this one by one. The text view will get associated to the widget called r.id no id dot text view and similarly image view will get associated to image r dot id dot image view and surface view equal to find view by id r dot id dot surface view. So once you have done it, um, I think I'll also create a quickly uh, public white button plot a uh, method which will associate with the on click attribute of this particular button in the layout so that whenever this button is clicked that particular method uh, which we have just now written that is called the functionality in that particular the logic is called okay so i think all this from the design perspective with the layout perspective are done i will also quickly create one more uh, local variable called surface holder and that i will associate surface no 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 not view holder to surface view no okay and get holder yeah so this will hold the uh, yeah for the surface view the respective surface view now we'll start our main programming so first and foremost let me create uh, arrays two arrays of x and y the coordinates so here I can make it like new int and this array could be I'll just assign randomly a few coordinates 300 400 I can probably probably I'll take an array of five points this you can take it as a input from the user as well but just for simplicity I'm taking it here and similarly I'll assign y coordinates uh, this time probably I'll be a bit more random say for example um, I'm just choosing all randomly and what else 180 300 yeah so okay once we have done it now we'll create a something called bitmap the uh, uh, bitmap which will hold or which will on which the canvas will be drawn so in this bitmap what we can do is create bitmap and I can use the dimension so like I'll be using most likely uh, this one in no uh, 
yeah this one probably this this signature we can use so width and height could be i can take it from service surface view itself get no not the capital surface view i want that object of surface view and then get width could be my width and then uh, similarly i can get for height get height and then config could be anything probably i'll just choose a r g b this one probably yeah yeah so now once we have created a bitmap we can just quickly create our canvas new canvas and then probably i think i'll use the signature this one yes so in whatever we draw on canvas it will get uh, stored in this bitmap and that's what we'll use to draw it on this surface view or the image view so before we proceed what we'll do is now we'll create a paint so the paint will is the uh, property which will store all the characteristics of the drawing like the stroke size and others so i'll just quickly create an object out of it and then set the attributes one by one so something first thing could be set color so we can set the color say for example uh, color dot red then what else i can set the probably just the empty areas this could be true and so you can choose uh, some of these so you can choose then then the style and a style could be a stroke okay and that's all i guess i think i will set this also uh, the stroke width so by default i'm not sure what it takes so i'll take it off around 10 pixels uh, dp okay so once we have done it now we'll use this uh, to draw the stuff on the canvas first and foremost let me draw the um, axis of the canvas so that i can draw using the uh, command or the method called draw line and in this draw line i have to just give the starting x y uh, starting y and this is all for like coordinates and then of course the paint which we have just no design so in our axis one will be the y axis and one will be the x axis so let's start and by the way the 0 0 over here is the top left bottom or top left point in this uh, canvas or bitmap so if uh, ideally in our axis the bottom left point is the uh, 0 0 the origin point so that's what we'll do here so starting could be x could be 0 and then we can go for bitmap dot get height so that could be my starting point which is the which should bring it to the bottom most and then uh, we have to go to the rightmost so that will be probably the bitmap dot get width and similarly we have to uh, keep the point to the rightmost so we'll do bitmap dot get height and then paint of course so this will draw my x axis similarly for y axis what we can do we can uh, draw line again and see this time again of course the starting will be zero and a starting will be bitmap dot get height but the end will be zero zero because it has to go till the uh, top uh, left corner which is the zero zero for the bitmap okay anyway you, you, once you practice these things you'll get to know where is the zero zero point and all those things so you just use this for the time being and you'll understand so once our axis is drawn now we have to plot these coordinates or x and y points these five points uh, on our this particular uh, canvas so that we can draw it so what we'll use is we'll use something called path for that so we'll create a path variable called new path and in this path we'll set one by one all these five points so first we'll move it to the starting point which is the my x0 and y0 so x0 and y0 perfect and then uh, that's uh, the starting point and then i will move to i mean draw the line line to that particular the second point so that will be basically my x no 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 i think i by mistake my cursor went there so it should have been x1 and then y1 and similarly so i think then then becomes very easy you can do it in iteration also uh, 
but since it's just four points uh, i'm just doing it here like this but it's, it's not a good practice by the way you, are, you should do it in for loop some kind of loop if it's more points but anyway uh, it's simple here to show me and explain what is happening so basically we are trying first we are moving to the first point and one by one we are drawing all the four points so once we have it then what we can do is we can draw it on the canvas so draw path and we can draw the path which we just know is uh, design and then we can use the paint over here perfect so this will draw uh, the canvas and the stuff will be stored in the bitmap so what we can do simply we can uh, draw it on the or show it on the image view by using this set image bitmap and use the bitmap so this will be uh, done for the bitmap so we'll do the similar things for the surface view i mean no logic will remain the same so i'll just you know uh, or i will just use this command like surface view plot below yeah okay so logic remains same the only thing which changes is in surface view as we have uh, initiated or initialized this surface holder so we'll be using that uh to do this so to do plot so we'll do something called surface holder and then get lock or lock can canvas and so this will lock the canvas for the surface view and uh, pass it onto the canvas whatever we are signing here and now whatever stuff you do here uh, this will get uh, drawn on this particular canvas which is basically that bitmap okay so we will have to or kind of probably repeat all the things over here so i'll just do one thing i'll copy paste this part i guess uh, i think including this line control c paint remains same so i don't have to redo it because anyway that's local variable and um, i think path no need to reinitiate and that's all i guess i think i don't have to do this particular part itself because path will be anyway there i do just plot it so plotting is required uh, definitely again but you don't have to draw the path again so yeah even uh, line we have to do so whatever we do on the canvas before we have to redo because uh, it has to be done after the lock and then what we'll do is we'll just unlock and post the canvas so this will get posted on the particular surface view that's all is what i think and probably what we can also do if you recall we kept this uh, text view so we'll plot uh, the stuff so i'll just put showing the coordinates in text view in parallel i have also run it in the emulator so let it come uh, just to save time and uh, text view set text and over here i will be able to or i will try to show the uh, coordinates so say for example x equals to and then one by one i can plot everything so uh, but this is in integer so i may have to change it so so for changing it there is a uh, api or the method which we have to use is the two string and then we can include this so x zero could be my first point and of course after that we should give some uh, space and i think i can just copy paste this line control c control v control v so one two three four yeah i think it's four times so i can just redo the stuff so one two three four and once we have done it then the next part will be for the y to show y so what we can do is y equals to integer dot two string and this time i'll use the y similarly i'll do this i don't think i'll need the why here but what i can do is i can give a backslash n so that it starts from a new line but okay and once we have it then control c control v control v so it's, it's a little monotonous i i, I will agree on that part but uh, we can just quickly keep on doing and thanks that we took only few points and i think i should not have given double semicolon there but just a plus sign yes looks good i'm not sure why one 
no i think uh, uh, braces are missing all over the place i'm not sure in copy paste i think i was did some mistakes no problem so now it looks good and let me read on it anyway the app has come up but i want to read on it read and, and see how it comes up yeah so the app has come up i'll click this <coughs> so if you see all the points are noted here 100 200 whatever we took in the start that's just for display and our axis is also come x and y and plot is also coming but if you see i was expecting like it should have been a little bit like upward going not downward coming and i think i understood the reason as i told in this layout and that's what i was saying if you play around you'll understand zero zero point is this one and this is like uh, the height so it's, it goes the other way in this so what we have to do is over here when we are plotting the points we have to most likely if you do this bitmap minus uh no bitmap dot get height and minus so this will be a better approach because it will just do it uh, reverse uh, the mirror image of this on the y plane uh, we'll see the difference you'll immediately understand what what i'm trying to convey here so we'll just do a subtraction so that it comes in a correct shape so let's see how it comes up perfect so yeah so please note i mean uh, you play around you'll understand so this is the zero zero point this is the zero and get height or the height of the bitmap this is the zero no width and the zero point and this is the height and the width so it goes the other way around so that's why this plot is correct so i just took simple five a day to plot it and show how easy it is it's a little long code but it's it's definitely doable uh, it's not uh, that difficult and uh, you can plot any kind of things you can even bring it on a float uh, window i have a uh, other uh, uh videos on my channel showing how to do it on the float window so please look at that yeah but it's very really simple to plot um, you know, over here so that's all i hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put in the comment section and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice day bye